Hi folks, Simon here. Today I'm making a DIY technical dive helmet and thought I'd make a short video of the process which might be helpful to someone else out there who is thinking about doing the same. Dive helmets are most commonly found in technical diving, particularly in overhead environments such as wrecks and caves, which just happen to be my preferred diving environments. That being said, I've seen divers utilising helmets in other environments as head mounted lights do offer the benefit of keeping both hands free where artificial light is required. My preferred diving configuration is side mount, however the helmet I'm going to make today is suitable for any dive configuration. Most of the equipment needed for this project will be commonly found in any home toolkit and tech diving kit bag. That being said, I obviously needed to purchase the helmet that I'm going to use. This is a children's bike or skate helmet that I purchased from a local sports store. If you're going to try this project, one thing to keep in mind is that most of these helmets come with hard foam on the inside, which is very buoyant and therefore would need to be removed. With that in mind, you need to make allowance for the size of the helmet after the foam has been removed. This is why I went for a child's helmet. Adult size helmets I found were going to be too loose once the foam was taken out. I've taken the liberty to remove the foam because uh, with this particular helmet it was quite well stuck in and it was actually a quite time consuming and uh, painstaking process. But um, with that pre-prep done, the helmet is now uh, ready to go. The other equipment I'm going to be using um, is standard cordless drill, uh, scissors, lighter, um, shock cord, which can be found at uh, any decent hardware store, um, a marker pen, um, some measuring tape, uh, which straight out of my um, side mount kit bag, and of course, um, my two backup lights. Now, these already um, have the bolt snaps attached. Uh, there's plenty of uh, video tutorials online that discuss how to attach bolt snaps properly, so I won't go into that today. Um, I generally expect if you're putting together a technical dive helmet, you would uh, already know how to do that anyway. Um, I use Big Blue AL1300 MPs for my backups. Um, I find they have uh, really good run times and offer more than adequate um, lighting for the, uh, the diving that I do. So I'm just going to move all this stuff uh, a little bit out of the way and uh, off camera for now, uh, clear my workspace and uh, I'm going to reposition the camera so you can get a little bit of a um, better look at uh, the work that I'm going to be doing. Now, as I said, I have um, already previously removed um, all the foam from inside, but um, one quick check uh, we can do before we uh, proceed and you don't want to do all the work and use all your um, use all your gear and equipment up and then find out that it's not going to fit. So one quick check we can do, um, here's my sort of normal dive hood that I would be using. Um, we can just put that on quickly and uh, pop the helmet on over the top and just make sure we've got a reasonable fit there. You know, as you can see, um, even with a children's helmet, there's a little bit of movement there but um, it's uh, reasonably stable, so I'm pretty happy with that and uh, we'll continue with the uh, well, The first thing we need to do is um, work out uh, the positioning of our lights. So we're going to need to make some um, holes in the helmet shortly. So to do that, I just uh, take my backup light and uh, position it as I would like it angled uh, during a dive. And so that's probably about um, where I want it for me. Um, and I'll just make a couple of marks here, which is uh, where I'm going to drill the holes for the um, bungee. I'll also um, flip over and do the same on the other side. Okay. And uh, you won't be able to see that because it's black on black, but um, essentially I've got four holes uh, on each side, approximately um, symmetrical positioning. That's just my little bit of OCD kicking in there. Um, not essential that it's uh, perfectly lined up or in the same spot, but um, that's now ready to drill. Okay, so um, I'm just going to uh, go ahead here and drill my holes. One. 
Good. 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 get rid of this drill for a moment. Um, now we're going to uh, thread our, our bungee cord. Um, as I said, just a standard shop cord you can get from any good hardware store. Now, what I'm going to do, oh, before I do that, um, you just wanna make sure the drill bit you're using, obviously is big enough that you can get the bungee cord through, uh, but not so big that um, it can come back out mid-dive and cause problems. Um, what I'm going to do just to make life a little bit easier is I'm going to cut a few sort of shorter lengths to work with at the moment and just burn them off um, and then we will uh, put them onto the actual helmet. So that's fine. Okay, and uh, just to make life a little bit easier getting it through, we're just going to burn the ends of those. Okay. Going to be a little bit tricky. I've got left not a lot of room um, in terms of drill bit size and bungee, but should be enough for a little bit of work. We'll, we'll get them through there. They certainly um, won't come back out too easily. Okay. Now we've got those set up, um, we'll uh, start threading those and uh, just tying our knots in each side. And you don't need to watch. Um, full length process of this, so I'll uh, speed the video up once I've done this first knot and uh, we can get forward to the, the business end. Uh, as you can see, quite simple, thread it through. Um, we want it to be hold the torch, hold the light fairly tight. Um, we've got a little, little bit of give in there, so uh, we'll just tie the knot accordingly. There we go. So that's our first one, um, and we'll continue to do the same for the, uh, for the rest of them and then we'll uh, get to attaching the lights. Okay, so here we go. We've got one set and our second set. Um, so they're pretty much uh, ready to put the lights on now. Um, one other thing I am going to do is, um, as you can see, we've got bolt snaps here. So just a little bit of uh, extra security for backup. Um, I am going to put a bit of bungee, run a little bit of bungee between these two holes at the back. Um, and that'll just give me a, a second attachment point uh, to make sure that uh, everything is secure and, and can't be lost in the event of failure or something that happens here. So I'm going to off to tidy it up. Okay, it's not going anywhere. And what we'll do is we'll just bring that around. Okay, now we're um, pretty much ready to add our lights. Uh, obviously, uh, these are button on top, so we want to make sure we orientate them so that um, we've got access to that button. And just thread through here. And then, okay, it's pretty much exactly where I want it to be. Um, and what we will do is we'll run this bolt snap around and clip it on there. So we've got security at the back. Um, obviously we can access our on and off switch. Um, that's pretty much perfect. I'm happy with that. So we'll just add the second light in. Both of those pulling on there is going to 
gonna put tension on that back anyway. Um, and there we have it. So that's 90% done. There's one other piece, um, just my preference. I like to film dives um, to be able to both be able to debrief and make um, some videos afterwards. So I will uh, attach a GoPro mount to the front, which I will um, just grab now. Here's my GoPro mount. Um, it does, see I did test this previously, um, a flush mount does not quite sit properly. So this is a curved sticky mount. I'll put that smack bang in the center of the helmet. Okay, so we're going to place that there. Pretty much front and center of field of view. I'll let that stick on. That's pretty, pretty well stuck there. Um, and I will use this, hopefully, sort of came with an older version of the GoPro, but hopefully um, you can still get these pretty easily. If not, I'm sure anyone that's had an old version of a GoPro, a three, four, five, will probably have one of these laying around. Um, I sort of like to keep things as streamlined as I can. So my probably personal preference would be to, to bring it in this way. And uh, here's one of my other GoPros. So that will, there we go. And uh, there we are, ready to dive. Um, the only other, I suppose, optional extra or thing I'm going to do, I found these um, little rubber rubber grips just at a, a two dollar shop. Um, obviously, this helmet is sort of it's a bit slippery there. I mean, they're pretty well held in. I, I'm confident that's not going anywhere uh, during a dive. However, um, if you just sort of wanted a, a little bit of something extra. Um, we could use these, which I am going to use, just to um, prevent any, any slippage or movement of the light. So what I'm going to do, I'm not going to get too fancy and undo it. I'm literally going to put them on um, where the lights are. So that's just a little square there. And I'm just going to put that there. And that just, just gives a little bit of extra um, grip. There we go, um, DIY technical dive helmet. Um, I'm quite happy with that. I'd be um, more than comfortable to use that in, in any environment. I'm happy that's secure. Um, it's as, probably as good as we're gonna get in terms of um, minimizing snag hazards, everything's sitting quite flush. So uh, yeah, happy diving people.